Good morning, Darren Alf here from BicycleTourningPro.com. I'm in Cody, Wyoming right now, just outside the eastern entrance to Yellowstone National Park. The only problem today is I don't know where I'm going to park my car. I drove my car up here. I'm going to get the bike out and bike around the park for a few days. But nobody, and, and I, I can tell you nobody, I've asked about a dozen people, knows what I can do with my car. Where can I leave my car while I bike around the park? Nobody knows, so I'm gonna drive straight to the entrance of the park, ask the ranger or whatever, the person working at the gate, what can I do with my car? Um, can I park it in the park for five days and just leave it? I don't know. Um, the, the entrance to the park is about an hour away from Cody, Wyoming, so I'm gonna do that drive now. We'll get to the ranger station and hopefully he or she will have an answer for me about what to do with my car on this week-long bike tour in Yellowstone National Park. Here we go. All right, so I'm in Yellowstone National Park now. I asked the ranger at the gate what to do with my car while I biked around and he said he had no idea, which is what everybody says when I ask them what to do in this particular situation. So he said just go up here to the visitor center and ask someone there, maybe they will know. But geez Louise, it's so bizarre that they have no idea what to do with someone who wants to bike around Yellowstone. The good news that the ranger told me was, normally it's $35 to get into Yellowstone with a car. Um, but today, when I pulled out my wallet to pay, he said, no, you don't have to pay. Today's National Public Lands Day or something like that. So I got into the park for free, not even knowing that today was a free entrance day into the park. So I'm pretty excited about that. Just saved myself $35. Um, so I'm going to drive just a short distance up the road here to Fishing Bridge uh, Visitor Center. And hopefully someone there will be able to tell me. Uh, where to park my car so I can start this bike tour across Yellowstone National Park. Hello, Darren Alf here from BicycleTurnPro.com. I'm in Yellowstone National Park right now on my bicycle and that white van that you see way back there, that's mine. Uh, I parked it here in the uh, parking lot near the post office here in Grant Village, the Grant Village Visitor Center. Um, I went into the backcountry office and got a four-day permit to park my car and ride my bike around Yellowstone. So I'm doing the lower loop of Yellowstone National Park. I'm not doing the full loop of Yellowstone because I'm here in late September and all of the campgrounds are closing this weekend. So there's only like two, maybe three campgrounds that are open. So I just decided to do the lower loop of Yellowstone. So today I'm leaving Grant Village and cycling about 20 miles, not very far, 20 miles north to a campground called Bay Bridge, Bay Bridge Campground, and that's where I'll spend my first night here in Yellowstone. All right, so I'm on the main road now. I've got about 20 miles to my campground for tonight. Yellowstone National Park. It's uh, one of probably the three most spectacular national parks in all of the United States and even North America. Um, and I hope to show you why on this bike trip. It took me about two hours to drive into the park from nearby Cody, Wyoming this morning. And along the way I saw one bison and one elk. And there were signs saying that there... There were signs saying that there could be bear at any, at any point along the road. So it would be very cool to see a bear on this particular trip. Don't know if that'll happen, but um, if we do see one, I hope it's far away and not super close. I, I am carrying some bear spray with me on this particular trip, just in case, but uh, yeah, it'd be nice to see a bear from a distance. Oh. 
Okay, so I'm at the West Thumb Geyser Basin now. Just gonna walk along this boardwalk and check out the geysers here. I've locked up my bicycle just back here in the parking lot. Uh, hopefully it'll be okay, I think it will be. But uh, yeah, just gonna make a quick loop around these geysers. So that was a good bunch of first geysers here in Yellowstone. One thing that's very apparent to me is that I am the only person here by themselves. Everybody's in a group or a couple. There's no other solo people. Um, I've been noticing that more and more. Uh, I'm usually the only person by them by myself. Quite a few people told me that it was dangerous to bike in Yellowstone National Park, that the roads were really narrow, and the drivers weren't paying attention, but so far it's been really nice. I mean, look at the shoulder behind me, it's pretty big. Um, I don't know what people are talking about. This is why you don't take advice from non-cyclists. They, they, they really don't know. The. Uh, bike ride here along the waterfront reminds me a lot of my bike tours in Sweden or Finland. It's a little windier here than it was in Sweden or Finland, but the scenery is very similar. And uh, yeah, I really, I'm really enjoying this. This is nice. Look at this. So far, the traffic on this road hasn't been too bad. Uh, it kind of comes in spurts. One moment, oh, I'm out of breath. One moment, I'm all alone like I am now. And the next moment, there's 20 cars passing me. And then I'm all alone again. Oh, the altitude is killing me. <sighs> We're up at about 7,000 feet right now. So, not super high, but enough to feel it for sure. The air is really dry. Lush green forest is giving way now. Look at this. Uh, this is like a burn area where fire came through and took out all the trees. You can see some small saplings growing over here, but for the most part, this area hasn't recovered yet. It's on both sides, as you can see. There's a bunch of cars parked here, which means there's probably an animal of some kind along the side of the road. And there it is. I can see it over to the side. It's an elk. There's one there. There's another one right there. So, it's just two elk. But there's a lot of people starting to take pictures of Look at this behind me.
So today's Saturday and I imagine that today is going to be the highest traffic day of the entire bike tour. Tomorrow will be a little lighter and then Monday and Tuesday, I don't know, I, I doubt there will be very many people out here, especially since they're closing all the campgrounds right now. Oh man, I'm out of breath. One of the things that's maybe not so nice about Yellowstone and so many national parks in the United States is that the popular areas are extremely crowded with people. Um, but if you can get away from those crowded places and go to the less common, uh, less well-known places, you can actually find some really spectacular places um, and have those places entirely to yourself. So this is a little road here. Uh, there are a few cars on it, but not very many. It's much more peaceful than riding on the main road. Some beautiful colors here, just these yellows along the side of the road are really nice. So there are a few trails here in Yellowstone that you can't actually bike on. Most of them you can't. This is kind of like a, a little bike trail and you are allowed to hike or bike on this short little path leading out to the natural bridge. So that's exactly what I'm doing. I think it's about half a mile or something. Whew. There was a sign at the trailhead saying to hike in pairs because there are bears. And hey, that rhymes. Um, I don't have a pair just here by myself. So, my bicycle is my other half, I guess. <laughs> I'm just making some noise to scare the bears away. But, oh man. All right, I'm just leaving my bike right there. The natural bridge is up this direction on the trail. I don't think I can ride my bike up here. All right, so there it is. It's right here. You can see it going across. It's just a small little thing. It spans 29 feet across, 51 feet high. Yellowstone's natural bridge. All right, so that was the natural bridge. We've seen the natural bridge. We've cycled along the edge of the lake and we've seen a whole bunch of geysers already in our first first day here on the road and I've only gone 24.4 miles. So pretty pretty good, a, a casual day, kind of a half day because I only started at two o'clock this afternoon. But uh, a very good easy day to begin our bike tour here through Yellowstone. Now I have just about one mile to the, uh, I think it's called Bay Bridge or Bridge Bay, Bridge Bay Campground. So I don't know how much it costs to camp. I don't know if they're going to charge me the full price to camp like I'm in a big RV or if they're going to charge me the bicycle price. So we'll find out as soon as I get to the campground here, just a short distance up the road. Here's the entrance to Bridge Bay Campground. All right, so I paid for my hiker biker campsite. The sign said it cost $8.90, but when he went to charge me, I paid with my credit card. He only charged me $8. Apparently, they don't know what the prices are. I don't know. This whole place seems kind of unsure about how things are supposed to be done, but.
So while I'm sitting here waiting for my dessert, um, I thought I would show you the map and kind of show you what I'm going to be doing on this particular bike tour. I'm talking quietly just because there's other campers around and I don't want to disturb them, as you can see. So the Grant Village Visitor Center, that's where I left my car this afternoon. And I biked up this direction along the coast of the Yellowstone Lake. And now I am here at Bridge Bay. You can see there's the natural bridge that I stopped at. So um, my original plan was going to be to continue to bike all the way up here and then back down and then back to my car. But the problem is today is the last day that this campground is open and pretty much every other campground up here is closed after today. I didn't know that when I was planning this trip though. So um, this campground is open tonight and then this one over here, Madison, apparently never closes or almost never closes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bike tomorrow from Bridge Bay up here over to Canyon Village and then across and I'll stay at Madison. I think that's, what's it say, um, total distance here, 16 plus 12, that's 28 plus, so, yeah, 40 something, 42 miles maybe or something like that tomorrow. Madison. And then the next day I'm going to bike down to here and the guy at the visitor center over here in Grant Village says that there are some backcountry campsites that I can bike out to here at Lone Star Geyser. So I'll, I'll bike this section on day three and then the final day, day four, will be a short one. Um, it will be back to the car here at Grant Village. So instead of doing this big loop all the way up here and back, I'm really just doing the smaller southern loop of Yellowstone. So that's it for the first day of my Yellowstone bike tour. It was a short day, but a good day. Tomorrow will be the longest day of the trip, uh, about 40 something, 42 miles maybe, 45. Uh, with all the exploring that I do along the way, probably 45 miles, maybe even 50. But um, yeah, should be good. So I'm just going to spend the rest of the evening kind of hanging out inside my tent. I have my uh, earphones so I can watch Netflix and listen to a podcast and have a pretty good night. So that's what I'll be doing. All right, see you in the next one. Bye.